Uh, we're going to move on to so more anti-gay shit, I guess. You've already started to see the press rollout for Disney's Strange World, right? That's going to come out next week just in advance of Thanksgiving. Presumably, it'll do big box office because parents won't know what to do with their kids over the Thanksgiving Day weekend. So here is your warning. If you're a parent and you do not wish your kids to see a gay teen romance, don't take your kids to see Strange World. Your choice, your kids. I'm just giving you the heads up. Disney has said that they have a not at all secret gay agenda. They said this publicly, openly, in giant meetings. The heads of Disney talked about their trans kid and their non-gender binary kids and how everybody, your kids, need to be educated in the ways of this sort of... Man, thank God. Ben's back to the important issues that are fa that that every American has to think about now. Is Disney transing my children? Disney's queer agenda. Oh my God. Thank God, dude. The election is over. Now we can get back to the real shit. Bro, I fucking hate these people, man. That's weird, dog. That you're a weirdo. You're such a fucking weirdo. Why are you so weird? Subjective individualist sexual culture. It's very important that your kids be indoctrinated into this. Well, we already had Lightyear, which was a dramatic fail at the box office featuring a lesbian couple targeted at five, six, seven-year-old kids. And now Strange World, which is targeted at five, six, seven-year-old kids, features a gay teen romance. Isn't this exciting stuff? Because this is what America is truly... It's so lovely. Okay. If you look at, like, a teenage romance... If you look at a Disney movie where there is like a five second blip of like a, a, a lesbian couple and you go, I'm getting fucking horned up by this. This is a lesbian couple. It means I'm thinking they're having lesbian sex. You're a fucking psycho. You need to be lobotomized if that's the way you operate. Okay. Like who the fuck operates this way? When I am walking down the fucking, oh shit. Ah! No! Fuck, sorry. When I'm walking down the street and I see a straight couple holding hands, I don't immediately think, oh man, I'm thinking about them bumping uglies, dude. I'm thinking about how they're breeding. They're going to go back home and breed tonight. They're going to be breeding so fucking hard, dude. That's insane. That is an insane way to operate. And you never think that way about straight relationships uh, that are being presented in movies either. It's, that argument is reserved exclusively for non-heteronormative relationships. Truly the value that, that I think stands for all of us is gay teen romance for, for small children. The New York Daily News reported this all the way back in, July, in June, quote, Disney's upcoming adventure film, Strange World, will feature a gay teen romance, the first in an animated feature produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios. Again, the idea here is that Walt Disney has to please its animation employees. This isn't about pleasing the audiences. Where was the broad parental demand for a gay teen romance for kids? Was that something that, that parents were clamoring for? Oh, man, I definitely... I mean, Disney's gay as fuck, so shut the fuck up. Disney has always been and always continue to be a little fruity. Okay? That's it. I mean, that's it. That's that's the truth. Why are we acting like that's not the case? You got fucking Ursula. Like, literally a drag queen, man. There's like a prominent villain. Have you ever seen a Disney villain? Have you ever seen a Disney movie? Every single villain is camp as fuck. Some of these motherfucking Disney villains literally would not be able to make it in RuPaul's Drag Race. They'd be like, no, honey, that's a little too far. You're going too far. That's insane. This notion that, like, Disney is... Who is, who is Disney appealing to with, like, gay characters is like, bro, Disney, okay?
Disney consumers. Definitely need to show my seven-year-old two, two teenage boys wanting to mack on each other. That's, that's definitely, I think, something that the five-year-olds need. Like, who is, who's that crowd, precisely? Where was the market d- demanding this sort of stuff? The film, which is scheduled to open next week, will follow three generations of a family of explorers and take viewers to a place of infinite mystery, unlike anything you've ever seen. Well, that's a weird promise. Several Hollywood powerhouses have been confirmed as part of the voice cast, including Jake Gyllenhaal, Gabrielle Union, Lucy Liu, Dennis Quaid, and Jabuki Young-White. One of the sequences that Disney filmed months ago shows Ethan, who's a 16-year-old, flirting with a boy named Diazzo in front of his friends, who tease him in a friendly way. His father, Searcher Clade, who is Jake Gyllenhaal, later joins in and embarrasses him in an overeager show of acceptance. Ah, it, it's beautiful, guys. Emmy award-winning producer Matthew Shigeshi, who saw the sequence, wrote on Twitter that the scene is very endearing and it's treated as the most natural thing in the world. The scene describes the son being very shy in front of his boy crush. And his dad comes in and says, so nice to meet you. My son talks about you all the time and further embarrasses his son. Very cute. Very cute indeed. If this is the sort of stuff that you wish to teach your kids, which is the idea that all sexual relationships are of the same moral stature, that all human relationships are equivalent in every available way, and that sexuality is entirely biological, except when it's not biological at all and is fluid. So if you wish to teach your kids that, by all means, take them to see Strange World. And if maybe you don't want to indoctrinate your kids in this crap, perhaps you should stop giving your money to Disney+. Plus. One of the reasons that we here at DW+, Plus have decided to dedicate $100 million to children's programming over the next couple of years is because we would like to provide a safe space for our kids. I got to tell you, it is very difficult being a parent these days and trying to keep your kids learning about traditional values in a world that attempts to foist on them at literally every turn that traditional values are evil and terrible and bigoted. It's very difficult. When people give books to my kids, I have to read the books first before I allow, I screen the books for my kids. Now you can hear the hue and cry from the left as Media Matters clips. It's, oh my gosh, oh, he screens books. Yes, because I am a good parent. This is what good parents do. I wouldn't let my kids read horror books and I wouldn't let my kids read books about the... Uh, he wouldn't read. He wouldn't let his kids read horror books, and he wouldn't let his kids read fucking books where it has gay characters because that's horrifying. Um, there is no argument you can make about this being a bad thing. If you think that this is like, if you think that this Disney movie is like sexualized immediately, you're a freak. Okay, you're a freak. Fuck. You are a weirdo. You're thinking about weird shit. Okay, it's not smut. And you're a psycho for turning it sexual. It's very weird. And you need to adequately address that. When people in your lives come to you and say, oh, it's a Disney movie, just tell them, one, Disney has always been gay as shit. And two, you're not sexualizing teenage boys at all. Just like when you have a normal romance in any other fucking Disney movie, that itself is not inherently sexualized. Straight couples are never seen. Yeah, normal, like normalized, okay? Heteronormative. Shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? I'm a foe. I'm a LGBTQ foe. You know this. Shut up. Heteronormative relationships in Disney movies are considered, or heteronormative relationships in like uh, uh, children facing uh, works of art is considered normal. No one ever says, oh, they're fucking. That's really messed up. Science disproves your point. What point? What? All the straight relationships in Disney are pedophilic, so I'm glad it's just two teens this time. What? Dude. What?
Why do I have so many fucking weirdos in here? Innate moral value of every sexual relationship. That's not something I want my kids believing because I don't think it's true. I think it cuts against basic human institutions. I think it cuts against the future of their happiness. I think it cuts in favor of confusion and, uh, and depression and suicidal ideation. I think. That's true. All the Disney princes are like 15. Yeah, but like the princes are not 30. What the fuck? The princes are also like 16, 17. No, that's what I thought it was like. What are you saying? It's not pedophilia if a fucking 15 year old princess is f like in a relationship with a 17 year old prince. No, they're not. They're 20 and up. Where is this coming from? Where, 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 since when? I thought the princes were also minors. They just like look the way that they do. Here, Ben Shapiro acts as a man manner known as ass lighting. What? Oh, are you talking about source materials? Yeah, no, man. I'm not talking about fucking source material shit. I'm talking about, like, the way it's presented now. Yeah, we're not talking about shit that, like, the Brothers Grimm fairy tales, okay? Half of that stuff you can't show children anyway, bro. Like, the fucking mom who cooked the son and fed it to the dad. Like, that's not something you can... That's just German shit, okay? German sickos... We're thinking like this is a good tale to teach children, okay? That's not appropriate for children, in my opinion. Chatter's making it about something completely else to validate a schizo chatter. Yes, dude. That is the number one thing that happens on this broadcast. No matter how fucking unhinged, bro, don't talk about age gaps after yesterday's drama. See, no matter how fucking unhinged someone is in the chat. In a community like this one, you will always have enough dudes motivated to defend that point. They think it's like fun. Or they're just as... Uh, in, uh, la, 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 la. Hassan, you're being cringe, bro. Stop trying to be PC clown. The only PC you will get from me is the penis cock I give your mom every fucking night. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Should have said pink cock. That would have been better. You can get 30% of chat to agree to anything. Yeah. <sighs> chat is always so charitable towards other chatters, but not towards Hassan. Swinging a miss, bud. You'll get him next time. Dude, I, you know, they can't all be fucking winners. Okay. I think that there are a lot of problems with the value system that we've been teaching our kids as reflected by the increase in depression, suicidal ideation, and confusion in young Americans, teens and preteens. We'll get to more on this in just a second. First, is he going to sell gold again? First, the world is ending uh, because Disney has gay princesses and princes. No such qualms. In fact, this is their goal. And they've openly stated everything right now. That's why one of our goals here at Daily Wire Plus is we'll do the screening for all the values of the progressive left, the transgressive left on your kids. Disney has no such qualms. In fact, this is their goal. And they've openly stated this is not by accident. They're doing this because this is part of an agenda. If you choose to, to back that agenda, you're a parent, you can make that choice, but you should at least be informed of the agenda before you take your kids to see stuff like this. Meanwhile, as we say, this is the most important issue on the left right now. As always, the LGBTQ agenda on a social level, this is the quote unquote new civil rights movement. This is something the left is always looking for is the new civil rights movement. The civil rights movement was the high watermark of morality for the left. Correctly, because the civil rights movement was excellent. Okay, and then we extended the same rubric of civil rights to a bunch of things that are not the same as race. Sexuality is not the same as race. Sexual behavior is not the same as race. These things are not the same as race. We extended that rubric because, again, the left is constantly looking for what is our next civil rights battle so that we can be the moral heroes. And for them right now, it's gay marriage. So with the Democrats taking the Senate, they are now going to move ahead with a vote on a gay marriage bill. Now, what is the purpose of a gay marriage bill? There is no purpose to a gay marriage bill. Obergefell has already been ruled upon. And yeah, like Roe v. Wade didn't just happen, bro. 
Look, if there was no purpose for it, you wouldn't be fucking freaking out, right? If there was no purpose for codifying gay marriage, why do you care then? You've done so many fucking videos on this. Why do you care then? If there's no purpose one way or the other, why do you care? Why have you done so many videos on this? Why have you literally fucking cried about it for the past week now, saying that Republicans are fake and phony if they vote for this? Why? Why? Because you do care. You don't want it to be codified, so it's like a matter of debate down the line so the Supreme Court could just eviscerate it like they did and bring it back to the state's rights, which you fucking know is not democratic at all because state legislatures does not necessarily mean the democratic states democratically associate and, and decide what laws to, to rule themselves with. Just like what's happening in Kentucky right now where the Attorney General is still, despite the fact that the uh, state overwhelmingly voted in favor of protecting abortions in the state of Kentucky, by the way, holy shit, the Attorney General has still decided to continue with criminalizing abortions. There is no state's rights in this situation. Okay? Just like... The reason why the Democratic Party finally fucking landed ass backwards on a correct position this time around, because it's overwhelmingly popular, is to codify gay marriage and interracial marriage and not leave it up to the fucking Supreme Court. Jesus Christ, dude. I can't believe he would make such a major point about this. It's like such a fucking horrifically ass backwards thing to do it's not a popular thing to criticize it, it doesn't make sense that he's just like so bigoted that he's like i don't give a fuck hypothetically even if everybody hates me i'm still gonna say it i am a homophobe i am a racist hypothetically i'm still gonna stop i'm gonna try to be as vile as i possibly can and a simple gay marriage bill is not even a constitutional amendment so it's not even above and beyond the supreme court ruling the supreme court ruling is still the law if the supreme court ruling were overturned a quick majority in the Senate could quickly overturn this law. Okay, but the idea here is that you're going to get all the Republicans on record. As okay, if, if that doesn't work, then who cares? Like, then why, do you, why are you so bent? Why are you so bent? Why are you so bent? Whether they support or do not support same-sex marriage. Now, let me just put this out there for the Republican senators. If you vote in favor of the idea that society has an obligation to recognize male-male or female-female dyads in the same way that society has an obligation to recognize male-female, you should not be in the Republican Party. You shouldn't. Okay, the reason I say this is not because I wish to shrink the size of the Republican Party. Because if the fundamental basis of human society is male, female, child, and you think that by passing a law you can change that reality, you do not belong in government. Look out, Republican senators. Daily Wire is going to get you. Dude, he's so mad. He is so bent, dude. I love that. I fucking love that. That's fire. He's so mad. This is a very simple proposition. Men and men are not the same as a man and a woman who are capable of becoming one flesh and producing a child. This is not difficult stuff. Many Republicans will be tempted to vote for this simply to avoid the conflict so that people don't yell at them. Oh my gosh, you're not respecting love is love. Now, first of all, the love is love argument was always bull crap. The left doesn't even believe love is love. The, love, the left has its own restrictions on what it believes is acceptable, at least for now. The left does not actually believe that all sexual relationships are perfectly equivalent. They would not presumably be in favor of brother-brother marriage. They'd not be in favor of father-daughter marriage, I would assume, for now. They're not in favor of adult child. He still has to sneak in the fucking incest. The incest is wincest shit. Love that, man. That's great. Ben doesn't remember this. Oh, he remembers that, all right. One of the most powerful ratios this website has ever delivered. Masculinity and femininity exist. Outward indicators of masculinity and femininity exist in nearly every human culture. Boys are taught to be more masculine in virtually every human culture because the role of men is always the same as the role of women. Ben, you're 5'3", can't go over facial hair and weigh 100 pounds soaking wet. If we both can be considered men, you should probably be a bit more open-minded about gender expressions. It's clearly not as rigid a binary as you try to imply it is. 3,000 likes to 142,000. 
That was fucking two years ago, man. That's crazy. The thing I do respect about Ben, though, is he he does actually uh, not block. Like he he just he just takes it. Oh my god, it's the anniversary of this two years ago. marriage for now okay but they don't even believe that quote-unquote love is love what they actually believe is that marriage should be redefined to mean whatever they believe it ought to mean and that they get to socially engineer society along the lines of their utopian visions in which individual sexual preference is the core of human identity as opposed to you know actual biological reality in which the most important thing that human beings do is procreate have babies and then live inside those relationships bring up those kids now, the Republicans can pretend along with this in order to avoid controversy, but it just shows how gutless they are if they do. So what exactly will this bill do? Supposedly, it will protect all religious liberty and conscious protections available under the Constitution or federal law, including but not limited to. Biological reality. Yeah. Marriage is literally the ultimate social construct. This notion that marriage has any, like, biological reality and marriage has any conversation like marriage is literally a, it's a social construct. It's an economic construct. It is completely made up. Okay. We made that shit up. There is no marriage. There's no two pair bonding. Some animals do it, but it's not a real thing. It's not a real concept. Like the way that we understand marriage, the way that we design marriage is just made up. We made it up. He's literally trying to make that into a natural thing. Okay. He's trying to turn that into a natural thing when in the, uh, the, the natural argument is a fallacy regardless because these are all social, contract, uh, social uh, concepts that we've built. It's a contract on top of that. But also, in the, in the natural world, animals are gay as fuck. Like I said, they're gay as fuck. No, you're not re-watching a video that we had watched already. Ben is just repeating his arguments because he's such a fucking insane homophobe. That he has to, like, make the same stupid fucking arguments over and over again. To the Religious Freedom Restoration Act and prevents this bill from being used to diminish or repeal any such protections. It confirms that nonprofit religious organizations will not be required to provide any services, facilities, or goods for the solemnization or celebration of a marriage. It guarantees the bill may not be used to deny or alter any benefit, right, or status of an otherwise eligible person or entity, including tax-exempt status, tax treatment, contracts, agreements, etc. So it's giving basically a bunch of carve-outs to religious organizations. It makes clear the bill does not require or authorize the federal government to recognize polygamous marriages. I, I find that hilarious because I'm just wondering what moral basis Democrats have to declare that polygamous marriages are morally inferior to same-sex marriages. I, I, need, I need the actual rubric by which you say that two is different in kind than three or four and why that difference in kind is significantly more important than the difference in kind between male-female and male-male. The bill would also recognize the importance I don't know if he understands this, but like there's two in one and the number two. And by the way, that is literally a fucking, that is literally just a made up concept. Again, it's a made up concept. Yeah. But uh, two, when it's a man and a man or a woman and a woman, okay, is different than three. Okay. I don't know if Ben knows this or not because he is like a, like an English major. He got a law degree, maybe. I know he talks a lot about STEM lords and he talks like he's the bastion of fucking logical reason and critical thinking and whatnot, but maybe he doesn't know this. Two, the number two, is not the same as the number three. So you have one here and then another person here, and then you have an extra person here, okay? There's a, there's a third extra person. It's kind of crazy. Weird. ...of marriage, acknowledging that diverse beliefs and the people who hold them are due respect and affirms that couples, including same-sex and interracial couples, deserve the dignity, stability, and ongoing protection. Okay, again, the reason that they are putting interracial couples in there is because they know that everybody approves of interracial couples. And you, like... And, it, uh, yeah, and everybody approves of gay couples too, you fucking freak. You sick freak. That's the problem. 
Ben literally thinks like everybody approves of interracial couples, but not everybody approves of gay couples. Like, no, that's not true. Like, that's not true. That's not true. The only difference is like you are missing the mark. You think gay relationships or same sex marriages are uh, that still have like a, like a genuine uh, a sea of support against it. The acceptance correctly of interracial couples in America is at an all time high. They're putting that in there. So if you vote against the bill, they can then claim you're a racist. It's a, it's a particularly stupid trip that they use for omnibus packages. I'll put in there. Yeah, I mean, but, but that, yeah. Ben's like, we're not racist, even though we kind of are, but we're also homophobic. We're not racist, we're just homophobic. <laughs> a bunch of crap, and then they'll be like, plus funding for the police. You vote against the bill, like, you hate funding for the police. And yeah, this is the dumb game that they're playing right here, but... No, actually, diverse views of marriage are not required to be upheld by the government of the United States. It turns out that words have definition. Marriage is a word with a definition. The changing definition of the word marriage cannot simply be done by rote at the top levels of government by a bunch of people who believe they are your moral betters with little to back that. Yeah, good luck running on fucking, uh, you know, taking away gay marriage as a right. Not, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what to say here. Particular assessment. Alrighty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into you. Okay. Um, it, it's just... Same-sex marriage also has a 71% approval rating, by the way. Here it is. Same-sex marriage support inches up to a new high of 71%. So, you know, remember when I said, like, we're not in 2008 anymore, and even in 2008, we weren't in 2008? Look at that. Look at that. 71 fucking percent, dude. Good luck. Good luck cutting this kind of propaganda, dude. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> Why are they perfect. leaving? Hey, everybody, we're back here with the host of The Problem with John Stewart. How the fuck is it not 95? Come on. How many times do I have to repeat it, dude? It's a Hasanabi fucking broadcast. It's a Hasanabi broadcast classic. Say it with me, chat. You can get 30% of Americans to agree on anything, okay? understand this fundamental truth you can get 30 percent of americans to believe anything they will agree with anything